Reeves are reaping. To fill up this little white area, look at the wood. I might have to cut this. Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. So today is Vlogmas Day 2. Well, this is my second Vlogmas video. It's actually day 4, but I'm going to start on 2. So I'm just starting at yesterday's one was 1, today's one is 2. So as y'all can see, I'm back home. Hold on. So yeah, I'm back home and what I'm going to do today in this week, in this, in today's uh, Vlogmas video is I will be decorating the cupboard tops. So like I showed y'all previously, I bought some, I bought these, hold on, let me take those. All right, so I bought these things. These are supposed to go on top of the cupboards. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Just put them there. And when I'm ready to decorate the tree, I will decorate these as well. So it opens out like this. Wait. About two of them, I think that should be enough. This is how long it is. Good length. All right, so as you can see, I have um, some flowers, things up there. So I'm gonna take them down first. I think I have a Christmas hat. I'm gonna put it on and come back. Guys. Give me a minute. Ta-da! 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 Okay. So I bought these hats last year. I bought four of them for no three actually because Zuri was a baby, so Zuri Ed could hold in it. So I'm gonna buy three of them. We're gonna rock it in um just to give our vlogs that Christmas Eve kind of cheer. Yeah, we're gonna be rocking the Christmas hat to give the vlog a nice Christmas kind of cheer. So let's get into the Christmas spirit. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna layer the things. Off we go. I need to fill up this into wine area with some nice wine or champagne or something. Because that empty. Bought this fryer about two or three years now, you know, guys. And what happened was, we're gonna open it. Change the light. Is that better? I think that's about all. I might have to cut this or something because it's very long and this part is not as long as the first part. So I think I'm just gonna measure it and kind of break it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna break it here. I think I kind of rock it back and forth until it pops. Or um, I don't, maybe I don't have to do that because it's like bendable. Hold on, I'm not gonna show you what this is like. Okay, let's get down. So I'm gonna push it back a bit. Like that. Not too much. Just a little bit, babe. We are getting somewhere. Baby, baby girl, we're getting somewhere, okay? Look at that. All right, so like I said, we're gonna get started on the windows today. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna start with the living room windows. Listen. I had a little painting job to touch up. I want to paint this grill right here in black. I'm wondering if I should do that today. Should I, guys? Mm, we'll see. Okay, guys. So, fast forward to like an hour later. Um, I'm having a cup soup because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all morning. And I have, this is a weird food combo, but I like to have my cup soup with a spicy sa sausage. I don't know. It's weird, but I like it. And stuff. So, okay. So, the reason why y'all don't see Zori from morning is actually because Zori went to her bed literally like 5 o'clock. The reason for that is because Zori, I'm trying to stop her from taking the breast. So, last night was her third night without it. Third day without it. Um, I stopped giving it to her three days ago from no time throughout the day no time throughout the night so now that she's not used to going to her bed without the breast she stays on her tablet until five o'clock in the morning since three days ago zoe has been going to her bed four o'clock five o'clock right so now she's sleeping because she went to her bed literally like after five last night she up on her tablet when she's hungry she wakes me up i give her something to eat She is not taking the bottle. She does not want formula. It's either she eats a sausage, chips, drink juice, eat like a cookie, something. But last night was the best night so far. Um, she went to her bed late, yes, but she was not waking up, waking me up often. The two nights prior to that, she was waking me up and crying all through the night. To get the breast last night she only woke me up once and she told me she wanted chips at 4 30 in the morning i gave it to her listen when i still with zori i went back straight to sleep i gave her what she wanted give her some juice she was just lying in the bed watching her tablet and eating and drinking i don't know when she fell asleep all i know is she fell asleep in my arms because i woke up with her in my arms um so that's what's happening in my little life but um other than that though as it regards to my business guys i'm planning to start um working in january i will start i was planning to start december here but i already got a shop <clears throat> i already got a shop space um ready me and my sister we're um she's opening a new salon so i'm getting a, a spot there so you know 
this is a chaotic month already because you know christmas new years are coming my birthdays in general like i just want to take it a step at a time so what i'm gonna do for this month is fix up the shop space that i'm gonna be working at get in additional products and equipment that i will need for my business paint i have a photo shoot to do a business photo shoot to do i have cards that i want to print some business cards some loyalty cards there's a few little stuff to be done and i'm planning on getting most of that done this month so next month i can start working you understand me so uh yeah that's the business update for y'all So like i've been like um contemplating on a business name so as most of you might already know my business name right now is wispy beauty however i'm contemplating on changing it i have a few ideas in mind but i have not come to the conclusion of which one i'm going to use yet so I'm still here trying to figure it out and the reason I really want to change it is because I came to realize that there is a lot of wispy beauties out there. The other reason is because the, the word wispy is basically like stationed around one meaning like lashes you know when you hear like wispy you hear lash you hear here you hear you know and I don't want to like box myself into one type of meaning you know what i mean like i want to like give myself a brand name that i can do any kind of business under that same name so that's what i'm going for and it's okay to like want to change like i'm just starting out right um i always like the word wispy i always like that name wispy like wispy it's giving like sassy cool jazz you know wispy that's why i chose the name initially initially and i don't I, I, when, when i chose that name there wasn't much people i didn't know that there was so many people with the name because i just liked it and i just thought i'd use it but there's a lot to choose in a name there's a lot that goes into choosing your business name as you have to choose something that is not so common number one something that is not too difficult to pronounce something that is not like hard to remember you have to choose something like trendy slangy but at the same time it still has to be professional and like you know stand out so it's like it's a hard thing to do to like come up with a name for your business it's not easy and then the words that you're choosing you have to know the meaning behind it so you just can't get up and say okay i'm gonna name my business a light bulb company because there's a million other companies by that name number one and you might not know what the term light bulb even means you just like the name and you just decide to run with it and that's not how you do it so it's a lot that goes into it to that decision and that is something that i'm learning as well because in the beginning i didn't know you know i'm just starting out i don't know anything i don't have a mentor i don't have anybody to like say hey do this do that no i have to figure that shit out on my own so i'm learning in the process and i'm grateful for that so you know it just comes with a third you know like in everything you do you're not gonna get it perfect the first time and that's okay it's okay to start again and again and again until you get it perfect the way you feel like it's perfect for you because it doesn't make any sense you just also you just say okay like 
I started with this, so let me just continue with this. Like, no, if you don't feel like that's that's it, like try again and try again and try until you feel like that's perfect, you know. And that's what I'm doing. So that's another thing for y'all to know. Um. Yeah. So I already printed. I'm gonna show you guys later on down in this video. I'm gonna show you guys the business logo that I already printed. I'm gonna show it to you guys. I printed it on my scrub, and you guys can tell me if you like it in the comments. Mm -hmm. Like them. Exact. Exact. I two of them, you know. I two stretch. The first one went from at the end to the top to the um to the end I, I triangle so and then the next one from the triangle end go to go to the end. Exact, exact. Mm -hmm. Put one line of paper light up there. Feel like pop. You know what I'm saying? My brows are like massive. A lot of people love thick brows like this, but I, I, it's not giving for me, baby. I need full thick lashes and like thin brows. Not, not like thin, thin, but I want them faded. Like I don't want them that thick and I don't want them that width. This is too thick of a width for me. It's just too much hair. It's been a long time since I got them done still. It's been like months. So, yo. Yeah. And I feel like they can grow even more because back when I was a kid, like when my brows grew, you can literally see a big V in my forehead here. Like they can go far than this. Like how you see them now, they can get even thicker, 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 and come down all the way down here in my in the middle here and create a V. There is a little bit of V there now, not too much. And fun fact, when I was in high school, right, when I was in 8th grade, I was in arts and craft class, and this teacher, I don't remember her name, she said, she told me to go to the pipe and wash off, um, wash off my, um, my eyes, like, she said, go, go and wash the makeup off your eyes, and my, I had a little bit of, um, liner under my eyes, but because, you know, back then in the high school, I girl, Every other girl used to wear the little black something under them eyes and like it make your eye pop a little bit. So I did have like a little bit under my eye, you know, and she said, she said, go to the bomb, go and wash the thing off your eye. So in my mind, I'm thinking she's talking about this thing that I usually put underneath the liner. So I went down there and I washed it, guys. I wash, I wash, I wash, I wash till my eye them red. Every time I go back into the class, the woman said, you know, wash off good, me for go back again. You see, when we go the last time, I said, Miss, no more something I left by my eye. She said, Not on your eyelids, on your eyebrows. I'm like, Miss, this is my eyebrow. Like, I don't have anything on it. I don't have any pencil on my eyebrow. My eyebrows were dark and thick. This lady thought I had um liner on my eyebrows. The whole time we, went, we got the pipe, me I dig out my eyeball and I wash, wash, wash. All this time, the woman had talked about my eyebrow. Oh, my eyebrow dark. She thought it was makeup. Boy, I don't forget that day until now. Go ahead and take my vitamins, you know, my probiotics and my collagen. <sighs> because I was at my house for the weekend. I went down there from Friday. So we slept there Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. And we just came up today. So it's three nights. I took my vitamins only once when I was there. I brought them. But listen, it's somebody I may have because not focused. When I'm a minute thing, like too many things to do, too many people to see, like I wasn't not keeping up. I am not consistent at all. But we get back on my shit because health is wealth, okay? Health is wealth. But I really want to go and clean these windows right now. But I'm feeling so lethargic. I just want to lie down for a little bit. I feel like I woke up too early this morning. I woke up too early this morning. I woke up like six, and uh, I went to my bed like 
two o'clock. Yeah, actually, I went to my bed two o'clock last night. So I didn't get enough rest. That's why I'm feeling this way. But I'm gonna take my vitamins and I'm gonna lie down for a bit and build up my strength and then I'm gonna because I'm definitely gonna clean the windows today for sure. I am gonna buy some new sets of up curtains. That's why I haven't put up any curtains at the windows yet. Because I painted the, the window jams um, the other day. I painted outside in black. I, I, didn't, I think I need to paint the inside parts in black as well. I don't have any decluttering. The only decluttering I have to do is in, a, in my cupboards, in my kitchen cupboards. Um, at the top one because I already decluttered under the bottom ones. So all I have to do is arrange like my seasonings, my sugar, my vinegar, my oil, everything like in the cupboard area. Just put them properly. That's all I have to do. So that's it. So, um, like, I'm gonna take you guys with the tour of the process with me because this vlogmas series is basically like prepping your your home until Christmas time. You know, shopping for stuff. Like, I'm gonna go to the market to get gungo peas. I want to get sarel. I want to go to the meat shop to get um meat kind like i want fi i want fish and I, I have to go to the seaside to get that one early morning i never got seaside to get some fish i don't want a lot of stuff because i don't have anybody coming over for christmas like everybody you know people these like back then christmas and nowadays christmas is not the same like at least in jamaica like everybody just wants to stay me out for christmas day just cook your nice dinner for your family like your kids or your man or whatever your woman or your pity them and just cook your dinner play some nice little christmas carol give each other gifts give each other love and just sleep all day like that's what christmas is all about for in these times like back then growing up christmas was not that way christmas i used to go down to my grandma's house which she lives in Grangeville, but she passed away you now r.i.p grandma we used to go to her house every Christmas. We used to leave from Montego Bay, go straight to Westmoreland every Christmas Eve. Before, hey, those times were fun, bro. Like, my father had this van, right? Mind you, I have, I have, I have 10 siblings. It's 11 of us total. Mm, so, every Christmas, yeah, every Christmas, my father had this van that um, we used to all go in the van back and we used to drive garbage man and from Montego Bay no? from New Year's Eve night and let me tell you you see when you go into Westmoreland on New Year's Eve night if you know South Town some South Town is ram packed and like, there's always a big Christmas tree in the middle of the town and there's people like aunts walking around for Christmas waiting on Christmas day actually like 12 o'clock like it's a it's a celebration so one christmas i can remember this christmas night or no when we were going down there it was new year's eve night we had a ram goat in the back of the the, the um the van so like my brothers were in the back i was in the front of the van me and my mom my dad and my other two little baby brothers we were in the front and my bigger brothers that were in the back of the van so they had the big old ram goat in the back of the van with them so because we were bringing the ram goat from mobile to westman and to to kit to butcher the ram goat for christmas because that's just tradition we always have a ram goat a pig um for christmas time we just butcher it on that day and we have like a feast so <laughs> Here's the funny part now. So, anyways, we're in South Town now. All our brothers in the back of the van with the ram goat. And the van now got broke down in a South Town. In the middle of South Town, New Year's Eve night, you know, guys. I think it was actually Christmas morning because I think it was like after 12 in the night when the van broke down in a Christmas, um, in a South Town. People, they pass and I laugh and I look at the, the van with the, with the, um, with the goat. And you, you, you know what the funny part is? All of my brothers, they look woman, you know. In a brought down van with the ram go and the ram go rank, you know guys, the ram go rank. And the boy them run at the back of the van. I look woman with the rank in ram goat and the van. I say guys, that was such a memory. Like I feel like you need to create those memories for your children because those are the type of things we remember. We that is a memory that will never wipe out from my brain. 
that was a good memory and growing up as well what i can always i love to smell um wood fire in the morning like wood fire brings back a up till this day whenever i smell wood fire in the morning it brings me back to my childhood because back then christmas time every early morning my father wake up you know guys and him, you know, I'm a Christmas man, and you know, I'm gonna butcher, eh? I'm gonna butcher the pig, and I'm gonna butcher the good Christmas man. And everything I got fresh from the stove, you know, guys. And I can remember like always waking up to the wood, the smoke, the smoke from the wood, and the burning of the of the hairs and and the, and the goat skin, and those are just memories. Like those smell, like I have smells that brings back memories to me. I have scents. I can just smell a little scent and it just takes me back to somewhere in my past. Like I don't feel like I'm the only person in the world that that can relate to that. I feel like everybody can relate to a smell. Like you just smell something will bring you back to your childhood days or to a good memory. It doesn't have to be a childhood. It can be just like a, a good memory or it can even be a dark memory. You know, you can just hear a sound and it takes you back somewhere and a lot of stuff. But yeah, guys, that's it. That's all. So I'll see y'all when it's time to clean the windows. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. So, it's hours later. I'm actually cooking dinner right now. May I cook uh, curry mutton and uh, white rice for dinner today? Um, I just have time to close off this series of our Vlogmas festivities. Um... Yeah, so I did went ahead and clean the windows off camera because listen, it was a whole lot of work. It was a whole lot of work. Those over there are some rugs that I washed, so they're gonna go in their respective areas. But you know, I'm like cleaning first before I even put down like any rugs, curtains, anything. So I'm just taking out all the dust and all the dirt and everything out the house, wash everything dust down everything repaint and what the thing that i want to repaint and then now after that when i mop out and everything i go ahead and i put up my curtains put in my mats put in my little pushers everything so that's gonna be the last thing to do so yeah my place is looking really chaotic right now but the greatest thing is that most of my shits are clean okay clean decluttered dust free germ free odor free everything is washed everything is you know so yeah um so i did all of that and now so look out for tomorrow um tomorrow's vlogmas episode tomorrow we're gonna be decorating the tree so looking forward to that and if i do go on the road tomorrow i might because i have my top to go and pick up from the tailor so i don't know if i'm gonna go tomorrow or wednesday depends on the vibe but i'm gonna let y'all know what is up so thank you again for coming through i hope you guys enjoyed it leave a comment down below to let me know how you guys are enjoying it and if you guys are actually looking forward to the rest of the vlogmas episodes and everything so thank you for watching don't forget to like and if you are new if you're new here please go ahead and subscribe to my channel to see much more content and much more fun videos hope to see you guys we'll definitely see you guys again tomorrow bye